Hey guys, it's Peaches and welcome back to the Little Boxes Project. Today we're building the much expected Goth's house. Also goes it also goes by the name of Ophelia Villa in The Sims 4 or in Willow Creek, rather. And I built like four or five different houses for the Goths because even though I went as far as starting to decorate the interior, I ended up not liking how it was turning out. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm too much of a perfectionist, uh, especially with this house. I wanted it to be really special and really, I don't know, I wanted it to be perfect. And I also did not want it to renovate the, the house that came with the base game because First of all, so many people have done it already that you can you can basically have, you know, tambling op options for a renovation of that house. And second of all, I hate that house. <laughs> I really it's it's huge. It has these gigantic rooms, and the layout is really weird. The the floor plan is really strange. For some reason, Alex's bathroom is in the attic and it's really depressing and sad. So I I just I didn't want to renovate that house. It was it was too much. So I went for this I think it's kind of like a mix of the Sims 4 house and the Sims 2 house. Uh, if you don't remember the Sims 2 house, I'll insert a little picture over here so you can see. So it's kind of like the front of the house is pretty similar. It's like it has that symmetric entrance, uh, and then like it's kind of symmetric, but it also has a wraparound porch up front, like in the Sims 4 house. So in the end, instead of being just a recreation of the Sims 2 house, it ended up being its own thing, and I really like how it turned out. I'm really, I'm really, really happy with the Goth's house. And I also was going to... those windows that and doors that I use are from Strangerville. And I they're growing on me, actually. I, did, I was kind of underwhelmed by those items, but I'm really liking them lately. I've been using it... I've been using them in a few of my builds. And I was kind of sad that there was not a black swatch on those windows and doors. But I decided that... It was going to be way too dark and way too black if I went for black windows. So I went for the white swatch and I ended up liking it way more because it kind of has a little bit of contrast rather than being all just a black indistinguishable building. I also had some trouble building in this lot because it's quite small for the type of house that I had in mind. And I wanted to add a l tiny little graveyard in the in the backyard of the of the gods house kind of like the one they had in the sims 1 i don't remember if they had it in the sims 2 i don't know but i really wanted to do that and i ended up fitting it in the backyard so i'm really happy about that so the landscaping which i will start here in a minute was inspired pretty much by the adams family house the one in the movies because i made it i used all of these trees and bushes that are like kind of dry and dead from the vampires pack and I also put a bunch of wild grass around it and kind of like they don't take care of it at all there's also I also put a bunch of ivies growing off the walls and it gives the house kind of like a creepy old vibe that I really really like and I really want it for for the gods house the floor plan also gave me a little bit of trouble when I was planning planning it out because the hallway was a little bit too um, it wasn't too wide it was it's only three blocks wide so there was it it felt a, it felt a little bit cramped once I placed the stair the staircase so I do cut it out a little bit from the video. Because I, I end up spending way too much time figuring out how do I want it to look. But instead of putting the staircase in the hallway, I do put them on the on one of the sides of the living room. And then I make the top floor a little bit bigger. So there's like a, this really big landing, like straight landing. I don't know how to call it. But uh, you'll see what I'm saying in a minute. 
And there's also a really weird laundry room slash bathroom on the back that leads to the back door. It's a bit strange, but uh, I always try to fit a bathroom on the on the bottom floor if it's a two or three uh, story house. Because for gameplay purposes, it's kind of a pain in the ass to have to go upstairs to the bathroom. Even if in real life houses don't have a bathroom downstairs, I think most houses that have more than one story have bathrooms downstairs. I don't know. <laughs> My house is small, so I don't really know these things. But and now I'm realizing that that little tower that leads to the kitchen on the right, well, you don't know what the kitchen is yet, but on the right at the end, uh, there is a, there's a little tower thingy and that's the kitchen. And I didn't put anything in there. I thought I, I thought about making a like a pantry or something like that, and I, I completely forgot to decorate it. So empty room, up to you. <laughs> you do whatever you want in there, I guess. Um, I don't know if I had an idea of making a pantry or a laundry room, maybe, but because I put the laundry room next to the bathroom, now that little tower octagonal room is empty so up to you do you want to put something in there you tell me let me know if you end up doing something with that room on the top floor however which you're seeing me decorating right now or planning right now um that room is cassandra's room i really wanted cassandra to have the little space uh for a window a bay window seat so she can have a little reading nook. She is a bookworm, I believe. So I thought that, that was really fitting for her room. And I really like how it turned out. Because Sandra's room is probably one of my favorites in this house. Probably because it's purple and I love me some purple. <laughs> this house is purple, red. Purple, red and black, pretty much. As the theme of the goth's house. And this is the living room. I love the living room. It's not very big. But I really like how uh, how the layout turned out. I do move around the love seat to the other side because I put up some a couple of bookshelves uh, on that wall, and uh, so the, the, it was like a bit of a better flow. And then I put a chair, I believe, in between the bookshelves. Yeah, I do. I move those all of those chairs around, and I think it looks a little bit better. There's not as many seats. As I wanted it to be, but it looks really, really fancy, really nice. And I put up those paintings from Get Together, I believe they are, um, because that guy, the one with the with the guy, he kind of looks like Mortimer for me. I know he probably is not Mortimer, but he looks like him. So <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was kind of fitting. Um, they also have a little TV on the living room. It's just a tiny one on top of a, uh, a little table. Um, I didn't want the TV to be the focus of the living room because it's really... I don't know. I didn't, I didn't want the TV. I didn't want a big ass flat TV on the living room. And this little area right here is kind of like the area they had in the original Sims 4 house. They had this grand octagonal room and then a piano on the second floor I believe so I wanted I think Cassandra is the one who plays the piano so I wanted to have that little space as well in this house and this is the kitchen I never use the that checkered floor that's a base game floor by the way and I really like how it looks with those cupboards those like cabinets from from vampires the green on the green swatch I really like the kitchen as well. I love this house. I love how this house turned out. And I don't usually say that about most of my builds. I'm normally, I don't know, 75% happy with my builds. This one is maybe 95%. 95% happy with this house. And the dining room is also very fancy. I did struggle to find a like a table and matching chairs and I try a bunch of them I end up going with those from Parenthood and the ones on the sides are from vampires but the colors are the same how about that they match it's a miracle 
<laughs> but it looks really nice. So here I'm putting some paintings because the walls were a little bit bare around the bottom floor and I think I here's where I do place the little TV I was talking about on the side and a few candles and stuff like that and on the dining room because we didn't have any sort of music device I pull out that uh, it's like a record player from Get Famous this one the fancy little record player. I thought it looked really cool here in this room. Vampires, get famous, uh, get together, Strangerville, and what else am I missing? I'm missing one. But those are the, I think those are the packs that I use the most. Vampires, Strangerville, uh, get together, and get famous. And then all of the, the rest are probably just a few items here and there, but those are the most prominent packs that I used in this house. And speaking of packs, it looks like they might be announcing a new pack this coming weekend at EA Play. And I'm really excited about it. I know there's been rumor, rumors about a tropical style type of pack. I don't know, it's really exciting. I love tropical slash coastal theme stuff, so that's gonna make me really happy if it's true. If it's not, we'll see what happens. I'll be happy anyways. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm really, I'm really excited about it. And speaking of EA Play, speaking of, speaking of EA Play, I'm going because it's in LA and it's a little over an hour away. Uh, two hours with traffic because LA is a nightmare <laughs> to drive through uh, but I am gonna be at EA Play and I'm really nervous I'm really excited and I'm gonna get to meet some people there and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun I cannot wait I cannot wait for this weekend <laughs> to come by and to show you guys what's going on I I'm planning on recording a vlog. I don't know if you guys are into it, but if I can, because it seems like recording in the at the event might be a little restricted. So I don't know. I'm not making any promises, but I would love to, to record a vlog and I don't know, whatever comes at the event, it's gonna be fun. So this is Cassandra's bedroom and as you can see, it's very purple and I do change I do change the items a lot, especially that bay window uh, seat and the bed and all the stuff. I changed the swatches several times. And that bed does not stay, by the way. I end up changing it for that bed from Get Famous, the fancy, fancy one, because it has a really pretty black and purple swatch. The covers are purple and, and white, and it looks really nice. Looks like it gives the room a little bit of contrast. And this is the reading nook I was talking about, and I do move the the shelf around a lot. This room is not too big, and I want it to fit way too many things at once. So I put the shelf on that side, I get rid of the big uh, dresser, and then I put a, that little one from Parenthood on the side instead of the, um, the side table. I place a few more decorations on the walls and around on the tables and I also place this little kitty cat statue on the on the vanity table and I love it it's so cute I've been thinking about giving the goths a little black cat I think it would be really really fitting or maybe a raccoon I don't know <laughs> but I want to give them a pet uh, let me know what you think uh, do you think I should give them a cat a dog a fox I don't know. I think it should be Cassandra's bed, though. It's just one of those things that it will be uh, it will be the kid's responsibility to take care of the pet. But I did. I do get questions a lot about the save file and if I am going to give some of the townies pets now that we have pets. And I do definitely want to do that. I already put a few pet items in some of the houses, like the pancakes. And I believe the Smiths as well. I wanted to give the pancakes a cat. 
and the Smith's a, a little dog because PT9 Smith is actually an animal lover or he was in Sims 2. I made him an animal lover in The Sims 4 as well. And I wanted to give them a little dog. So I am definitely going to make a few pets for, for some of the townies for the save file. But anyways, I might have to cut this voiceover a little short today because not only I seem to choose the longest builds to do a voiceover with, but I also have a really busy day. I got a new job and I'm still figuring out the schedule because it's a little all over the place. And when I say a job, I mean other than cleaning horse poo because if you didn't know, that's what I do. <laughs> I clean horse poo in a horse ranch. How fun, huh? But on top of that now, I work at a VR arcade, like virtual reality with the goggles type of arcade. And it's, it's amazing. It's really fun. And the reason I got the job is actually this YouTube channel, or at least one of the reasons. I, Jesus, I know how to, I know, I know more things than just YouTube, but it was one of the reasons that they decided to get me and um, yeah, it is really exciting and I will try and uh, wear some merch at the EA Play to kind of like, you know, very sneakily promote the place because it's just opened. So it's a little quiet, but um, yeah, I'm again, I'm really, I'm really excited about it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna let you guys go and enjoy the rest of the build. If you hear music in the background, that's my husband cooking right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, so tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, sorry, Friday, I do have a new Let's Play series, which is also very exciting. I am currently playing Cities X Skylines, and it's really fun, and I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying the, uh, the Let's Play, because Monkey Island is not very popular it seems so uh cities of skylines is doing better it seems like you guys like it more so yeah friday cities of skylines new let's play series go check it out there's one episode up right now so you can you can go watch it if you have nothing better to do today and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the goth's house uh leave a like subscribe all of that good stuff and i will see you guys on friday